start as always with the Thursday night game. And this week that game is the Ravens at the Bucks. On paper sounds like a very good game, a good game to watch. The Ravens are 4 and 3 and the Bucks are 3 and 4 coming off a pretty bad loss to the Panthers. Baltimore is favored 1 and a half points and the over under is 45. I'm tempted to take Baltimore in this game just because the Bucks have not been playing well at all this season. So I'm going to take the Ravens, 27 to 24. I do think there's a decent chance the Bucks come out and dominate this game off of the back of that embarrassing loss, but I'm going to go with the Ravens right now. Next up, the Sunday games, we have the Patriots versus the Jets. The Patriots are 3-4 and four and the Jets are 5-2. and two. New England is favored 1.5 in this game and the over-under is 40.5. A bit surprising to see New England favored here. Breeze Hall is out for the season for the Jets, and they did acquire James Robinson from the Jaguars. It'll be interesting to see how New England's quarterback situation plays out this week, if Mac Jones plays the whole game, or if Bailey Zappi also plays. The Jets have not been very good against the Patriots in recent years. They just can't seem to beat them. I think I do like New York in this one. Although I am a Patriots fan, I think I'm going to pick the Jets in a slight victory here. Just based on how bad the Patriots played versus the Bears last week. If you can give up 33 points to the Bears, you can give up 33 points to anybody. So I have the Jets winning at home 20 to 17. Next is the Broncos versus Jaguars. The Broncos come into this one 2 and 6, and the Jaguars are 2 and 5. Jacksonville's favored 2 and a half in this one, and the over under is 39. Russell Wilson is going to be back playing this one. And this game is actually in London. This is another London game. So this one will be before the Patriots Jets. I think this is going to be a really low scoring game. The Broncos defense is pretty good. And the Broncos offense is pretty bad, so any game that they're in is usually pretty low scoring. I actually like the Broncos to win here. I'm going to go 17-13 Broncos. 
Panthers vs. the Falcons. The Panthers, of course, trading away Christian McCaffrey and then beating the Bucks 21-3. They are 2-5 and five on the season, and the Falcons are 3-4. and four. The Falcons are favored 4.5, and, and the over-under is 42. Falcons win this game. Another kind of low scoring game though. Cowboys. Bears coming off that dominant win over the Patriots on Monday night. They enter the game 3-4 and four, and the Cowboys are 5-2. and two. Dallas is favored 9.5 points and the over-under is 4 see Dallas favored so much after the Bears took it to the Patriots. You would think it wouldn't be this high, but I do kind of agree. I mean, their defense is probably going to shut down the weak Bears offense. And, I don't know, I could see it. But we're going to go 27-20 Dallas. See like twenty seven thirteen or so, but we'll go we'll go twenty seven twenty. Dolphins versus Lions is next. Miami is four and three. And Detroit is one and five. Miami, though, only favored three and a half, and the over-under is 51 and a half, so a lot of points expected in this one. Two pretty bad defenses. I think Miami wins. We'll go 31-27. is Cardinals of Vikings. Cardinals are 3-4, and four, and without Marquise Brown, their top receiver. And the Vikings are 5-1. and one. Minnesota's favored three and a half, and the over-under is 49. I think the Vikings win, mostly, uh, well, I mean, I think they're the better team, but they're also at home. If this were in Arizona, I think it'd be a little bit tighter of a matchup, but I'm going to go Vikings. Thank you. 
be finding themselves, finding their stride at this point in the season. They won pretty handedly versus the Texans last week. And any team run by Andy Dalton at quarterback, I feel like, cannot be trusted. And their defense hasn't been as good as expected this year either. Talking about the Saints. So, we'll go Raiders here. 40 and a half. Tennessee walked away with a victory at home over the Colts. Pretty ugly game. Lots of turnovers forced by the Titans and they won, I think, 19 to 10. Um, I'm actually going to pick the Texans to win this game. Kind of another ugly matchup. 17 for the Texans. That is the first 4 o'clock game. The next 4 o'clock game. The Commanders versus the Colts.
favored one and a half on the road, and the over under is forty three and a half. The 49ers, of course, will now have Christian McCaffrey at practice for more than two days to learn the playbook, so he should be much more of a factor in this one.
Cincy is favored three and a half, and the over under is 47 and a half. Divisional matchup here, so I'm going to go lower scoring. I do think the Bengals win. But I think it's close. I think it's ugly. I'm going to go 20 to 17. subscribe if you